Hey, what's up you guys? Long time no see, but I'm back again. And if this is your first video you're watching of me, then welcome to the club. I don't know what kind of club this is supposed to be, but you're welcome. <laughs> so today I'm going to be doing a video that's a little different than usual because it's a unboxing. Which you'll probably guess from the title, but look. Unboxing! <laughs> so long story short, Cultura Amsterdam has sent me this box full of Korean beauty products and stuffies and all kinds of fun things. And Cultura Amsterdam is a company that is actually from South Korea and they're trying to get all of their awesome products to our Dutch market. Because I'm Dutch, so South Korea to the Netherlands. So they sent me over this box so I could share some of the products with you guys and if you follow me on either Instagram and or Snapchat, you probably know that I'm a huge fan of anything Korean beauty. I just think it's so cool. I just think that their products are more advanced as to the Western products are because they're so much more focused on protecting from any outer uh, damages that you can get such as sun rays, UV damaging and pollution damaging from all the um, stuff that you have in the city, car engines, um, planes that fly over, stuff like that. I just think their products are better and you know that's, that's something to really put into your skincare routine because since using a couple of them I have noticed a difference in my skin so that's very good. Just before we start I have two disclaimers. This is four, this is two. First one being that um, a little background story on my skin just so you know what my situation is and uh, why I choose certain products over others. I have dry skin, sensitive skin and acne pro skin which is a combination that you just don't want to have. You, you just don't want to have it. I am unlucky. Second being that uh, skincare is different for everybody. Everybody has different skin, different types of skin, different colors of skin, different thickness of skin. So something that might work for me uh, might not work for you. And of course the other way around. So if you see a product in this video that you think you're gonna really like, I would always suggest to just check out the reviews online and see if you can find some people that have the same preferences or the same skin as you have and then see if they liked it or not. I guess that can save you some money. All right, let's open up, I'm excited, yeah! Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, just like probably every other YouTuber does, I have already opened this box, I have already opened the products and I have already used some of the products. But um, I just wanted to show you guys, so I saved all the packaging and stuff, so let's do it. So first product we got here is Beauty Water, that's just all that the box says. It has instructions in both Korean and English, which is very nice. Beauty water is smart cleansing liquid made from natural plant extracts with that gently cleans, exfoliates and moisturizes to deliver smooth, revitalized and hydrated skin. So you use it by moistening a cotton pad and gently sweep it across the face. Beauty water is ideal for when you want to cleanse your face during a long flight, as a toner before application of the rest of your skincare products, when wiping off residue after the use of a sheet mask or massage cream or as a way to freshen up your face during the day. And I'm guessing that the last one is for when you're not wearing makeup. So I have used this a couple of times actually. I like to use it as a toner after washing and cleansing my face. And I also really like to use it after, um, after I've done my makeup, like to remove my makeup. Because this stuff is basically the same as micellar water, which I usually use to remove my makeup. But the thing with micellar water is that it really dries out my skin. So when I've used it, I can just feel it being really tacky and just, I don't know, really dried out in not a nice way. It's like completely stripped of its own moisture and oils. And this doesn't do that. But this does have a smell, so if you're against any smelling products, then it smells like lemon. But it's like a really nice smell, it's like a really fresh, nice smell. So overall, I really like this product, I think it's really good. Um, but with every skincare product, I always try to use it for like a month or a bit longer to see if it actually works. So I might do another video and get back to you guys within a couple of months to see uh, which products worked for me and which didn't. Next up is this Baby Glow Cream. I think the packaging is super cute, it's adorable, I freaking love it. So I've used this cream a couple of times. Um, 
The instructions are completely in Korean, so I just checked online to see what it's supposed to do and stuff. It is just a really hydrating cream, but it also has a whitening effect, um, which you can actually really see. If I just use this on my face, it kind of leaves a white sheen all across my face, which is supposedly the whitening effect, so it makes you look a little less than. Uh, personally, I don't really mind it if I use it before my makeup or at night, but if I would just apply this all over my face and then go out and my face will be a lot wider than the rest of my body, it just looks kind of funny. So that's something to watch out for. Definitely if you're darker than me, which is about everybody on this planet, um, I wouldn't recommend to use it if you're just going to do your cream and then walk out the door because you kind of have a little bit of a, uh, a ghost face. Oh my god, I like this so much. <laughs> So yeah, overall I really do like it, but I just want to recommend wearing this um, if you're not going to wear any makeup after and if you're not Asian because you can have this ghost face. Alright, alright, alright. So next up we've got this Bombay Honey Moist Cream. I've used this one quite a couple of times and this is actually my favorite over the other cream. But this one does have a really different texture. So this cream is targeted towards the dry skin, which that would be me. Yeah. So I'm not happy about it. Okay, so it says Bombi Honey Moist Cream is a water drop type moisturizing cream with bursting water drops that hydrate the skin. Uh, I personally haven't seen them burst on my face, but <laughs> I guess. <laughs> what I really like about this is the texture of this cream because it's not really a cream, it's just it's more like a jealous texture. It feels really smooth, kind of reminds me of um, silicone primers, they kind of have the same feeling as this cream does. But it really just glides on your face really smoothly and you can really feel it hydrating your skin intensely and I really, really like this one. So yeah, I definitely do recommend this. But then again, like I just said, every skin type is different. So if you have oily skin, I might go for a cream that's a little bit less intense on the hydration. Next thing we got is this little cutesy bottle. So this is called Fine Fragrance Hair and Body Mist in the, I want to say shade, but it's not a shade, it's a, um, a smell. In the smell, green tea and mineral water. But what this is, is basically like a little hydration mist for your hair and your body. So if you're like really sweaty or just warm, you want to refresh a bit, you can do that with this. Plus it smells nice, so that's really cutesy. I haven't tested it out yet, but I guess that this could also be nice for when you have really frizzy hair in the winter when it's really dry. So you can put a little bit of this on it and maybe it'll kill frizz a bit. But I can't say for sure. It smells nice though. And next we actually got a makeup product, which I was super excited about. This is a little lip cream, which I'm wearing on my lips right now. It's really funny, I never used a lip cream before. So I was a bit confused when I used this today, actually. But yeah, I'm usually a liquid lipstick kind of person. So I was a bit iffy about this one because I know that um, Korean people like to use more lightweight products, more like lip tints or colored lip balms. And I knew that this would be different. It also has a different applicator, like one of those glosses or moisturizing lip balm kind of things. Uh, so it made application a bit tricky for me around the edges because I have pretty tiny lips. So I just did those with a little lip brush. But it actually feels really nice on the lips. Like it's really, it's really soft and hydrating and I like the color. Like it's a little coral color. It's also what it says, it's the shade coral. <laughs> yeah, it does transfer quite a bit. You would just have to reapply it if you want to keep the color fresh. So that, that is a bit uh, of a thing for me because I like lipsticks that are actually very long lasting. So I can go through my day and not having to reapply. But then again, if you would reapply this, it would not just build up the products like a lipstick, um, like a liquid lipstick would do because this does not dry down. But it's very hydrating for your lips, so I really like it. And then I'm left with all these little stuffies. So I'm just gonna go through this real quick because I don't wanna make this video like a year and a half long because then nobody would be watching at the end of it anymore. So let's just go through it really quick. First thing that I really like are these decoration stickers. They're actually for your little nails. Um, but <laughs> I'm just gonna use them on my face. I think I can use 
some of them to do some cool makeup looks with. So I'm actually really excited about that. Then I've got some samples. And then I've got these, all oh, these sheet masks. And I freaking, freaking love sheet masks. Like I never really understood the hype about sheet masks when I heard everybody raving about it. And I was just like, it's just some sheets on your face. What's it gonna do? But I think they actually really work. They, um, usually when I use them, they are super, super intense with moisturizing your skin, which I definitely need. Um, but I also feel like, because quite some of them have a whitening effect, but it's really subtle, that whenever I've used a sheet mask, like the next three, four, couple of days, my skin just looks more, more pulled together. Like it's more kind of one color instead of all these colors that I usually have on my face because I have blues, uh, blueness underneath my eyes, I have redness around here. I have acne scars around here. So whenever I've used sheet masks, I just feel like it's a little more blurred, I guess you could say. And I really like that. And whenever you've, you've used one and you're like peeling it off, it's just, it's just so intense. Like you just feel like, oh, <laughs> just like how hydrated your face really is. And you can just like pat in the residue. And you don't have to wash anything off, which I really like because I'm usually quite a bit lazy when it comes to that. So let's just go through them. The first one is this Rose Callas Mask. It's for calming, glowing and intense moisturizing. We've got this three step mask. So you start with step one, honey milk. Now we've got step two, which is an ampule. And then step three is the honey bone mask. Next up, we've got this Black Chip Circle Point Mask. Um, as you can see on the packaging, like this chick got all these <laughs> points on her face. like. This. I'm not sure if it, those are pressure points or if it's to flow out excess liquids that you have in your face, like to cleanse that stuff, I'm not sure. Um, and everything is in Korean, so I'm gonna just have to Google this one. Oh, and this one I'm so excited about, which is the 10K Karat, no, it's not. This is the 24K Pure Gold Karat Face Mask. And I've seen this stuff like all over the internet. I've seen people use pure gold face mask and gold leaf face mask and all kinds of stuff. And gold supposedly is really good for your skin. It says it's a concentrated gold mask that encourages skin's natural recovery function and provides a rich infusion of moisture to help improve texture. Restore youthful suppleness and radiance with a single application of this vitally enhancing complex. That sounds like a lot of expensive words. <laughs> and it's a 10 minutes miracle. So yeah, I'm super excited about this one. I don't know if my skin is gonna magically change after using this one time, but who knows, maybe next video I'll have magical glowing unicorn skin. So yeah, I'm super excited. So all in all, I am super freaking happy with this box, which is now empty. <laughs> But I'm very excited to keep on using the skincare products and the masks and see if it does any good for my skin. Uh, I might make another video in a couple of months and show you guys if it did any difference for my skin. Or if I feel like it has revitalized or uh, made my skin healthier looking or more moisturized. Obviously a lot of your skin condition has to do with um, how you treat your skin other than your skincare. It's like what you're putting into your body, what you're eating, uh, how much you're sleeping, how much stress you have, any other kinds of sicknesses or medical conditions are also something to, um, to think about. Uh, my acne is hormonal so I know that usually has nothing to do with the skincare products that I use. But then again, I use skincare products to try and reduce that and keep it all like nice and clean. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you stay till the end, you're awesome. You're amazing. Thank you so much for watching my entire video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a little likey and you can leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. And subscribe if you want to see my face on your screen more often. And then I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.